This nationwide convenience store chain has begun selling a type of cookie that is a bit different from the rest. And here they are. The package looks normal, but a close look tells you that this snack contains healthy and eco-friendly euglena. I'll ask some customers if they know what euglena is. I have no idea. I've never heard of it. Is it something like wheat bran? Euglena is actually green microbes, much like algae in water. Rich in vitamins and minerals, euglena is biscuit's key ingredient. Only 100 grams meet almost all your daily nutritional needs. Euglena reproduces through photosynthesis. It uses solar energy, carbon dioxide, and water to grow. As it absorbs the CO2, the euglena divides over and over. It can absorb 10 times as much carbon dioxide as a rainforest of equal mass. The cookies are marketed as being healthy and eco-friendly. This convenience store chain believes that shoppers buy them because they are green. This cookie attracts customers in part for its nutrition. But I think another big reason is that it's good for the environment. A Tokyo bio-venture company takes credit for the Yuglina cookie. Realizing the substance vast business potential, the owner set out four years ago to research this microbe exclusively. We started the company focusing on Euglena's nutritional value as an organism. Later, people started to get more interested in the environment. At this point, the microbes' eco-friendly capabilities helped our business grow. This came as a surprise to us. We didn't expect this when we first started. The company grows the microbe at a plant 2,000 kilometers south of Tokyo. Ishigaki Island in Okinawa Prefecture was chosen because its air and water are clean. It all begins in a test tube. The microbes are exposed to light to start photosynthesis. As they soak up carbon dioxide, they gradually multiply. Then they are moved into larger containers. Within a month, there is enough to fill a pool 45 meters in diameter. The company is considering a new green use for the microorganism, putting cultivation tubs next to power plants and factories to absorb CO2 emissions. In early testing, researchers at Ryukyu University grow the substance by exposing it to exhaust gas. They want to see if the microbe can withstand more carbon dioxide than air. They transferred exhaust fumes into these gas cylinders at a thermal power plant, a partner in the joint research project. The gas is dissolved in water. The percentage of carbon dioxide in this water to be poured into a Euglena tank is 50 times higher than normal. That's enough to kill most organisms. Three days later, the liquid is darker green. The Euglena survived the high concentration of CO2, but it reproduced much faster than in normal water. In fact, its mass quadrupled. It was a surprise to see Euglena grow so well in such a harsh environment. The microbes not only increased in number, but also absorbed the high concentrations of carbon dioxide. I'm positive that humankind will benefit from Euglena. The story doesn't end here. Researchers have discovered another use for the biomass. When this microbe photosynthesizes, it produces a substance like kerosene that could be used as fuel. The firm is experimenting on powering small motors with Euglena-based biofuel. 
Biofuels have been made from food products like corn and sugar cane. But in the future, biofuels from Euglena, which don't interfere with our daily food source, will certainly become a necessity. Some Japanese manufacturers and oil companies are already showing an interest in Euglena. By collaborating with companies like these, the company has planned to produce jet fuel from Euglena oil. It may not be long before we will be flying in airplanes powered by Euglena. Joji Kano, NHK World.